Okay, I'll share the complete screen. Mm -hmm. It's only a few slides. So star photography, I need to say, guys, I, I'm not a pro. I just did it a couple of times. Um, and uh, um, at the beginning, I thought, okay, why should I photograph what I don't see? But actually, if you're in mountains and if you look at the sky, you just say, okay, it's so bright and so, so clear. And you think, okay, maybe I should, should start to learn how to photograph it. This is uh, one of the first pictures I did. It was just by chance. Uh, and after that, I thought, okay, maybe, yeah, I should do more in that direction. And the question was for me how to do it. And yeah, um, first of all, if you want to photograph a you know, star image, you need to plan. And um, because you know, you know, if you if you see this one or this is this is Milky Way, you you cannot in the night star start to compose your image because you don't see anything. <laughs> and um, and you need to be on the right time place at the right time. It's just not enough to be on the right place. Um, and that's why yeah, I used the photo pills app. But it does actually is it shows you here in the night at two at the 22, you select the place would you, where you would like to be. And then it shows you here where the Milky Way will be from 10 o'clock till uh, Half uh, half past twelve. It will be in the in the middle, and uh, at one uh, thirty, you will you see it. It leaves the as the area. So you see here. This is the, the center of the galaxy, um, and um, here it's it's it not very well seen. But you can see here there is a valley. So here we have one mountain, the second mountain, and here I have a valley with a, with a river. And at that time, my Milky Way will be exactly at the same direction where the, the river and the valley is. So that was what I was looking for. So um, I decided, OK, we take a tent. We will stay something there um, for the night. And then in the night, I will take it. This is my amazing image. Which I, I expected to do. It was one of my first, it was actually the first time I said, okay, I take the camera and I go outside and take the picture. Um, why I choose this place? Because actually this is, um, yeah, I should say, this is our map, our pollution map. If you see it, check it for Belgium, it will be all red, it will be something like that everywhere. But here in, 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 in Alps, you have green, and green means okay, it, it's dark nights. Uh, yellow means it's you no know, chance. Don't don't try to photograph. But blue is something like it's really dark sky. It's in dark sky means that you have um, yeah you have stars and you, you can you don't have the light pollution. I will show you Im later images with light pollution. They can also work. But if you want to a clear nice picture you need such blue places. And there are only few in Europe, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and here, yeah, this is some kind of orange and red. You will see only the brightest stars, but only with blue, you will you will see as a Milky Way center. OK, then to plan, also to plan, you need to know all about clouds. It, not just not enough to say, okay, as it will be few clouds or a lot of clouds and something like that. And there is a map for a uh, clean outside, uh, which shows you, okay, I have low clouds, medium clouds, high clouds. Me uh, low clouds can be interesting in your photography uh, if you photograph uh, Milky Way, but medium and high, high is actually means that you mostly don't see a lot. Um, after that, say, okay, how fast should I photograph? And there is well-known rule of 500. It says that you should divide 500 by your aperture. My aperture was 20 millimeter. 
and you will get 25 seconds. But uh, for 25 seconds, you will, from my settings, I get something like that. So you see, I have uh, not dots like here, I have strips, and it happens because uh, of the earth rotation, obviously. And, and you, in, this problem is that you need this long ex exposure time to see the stars if everything else is just dark. So there is a more strict rule of 300. This works better for modern cameras. And it says to me 15 seconds is my is my limit. If I ask the app, this is very nice app. They says to me, if you want to have absolutely dots, you need to go for 12 seconds with 20 millimeters. But yeah, you can see it in this picture. I think this is 15 seconds. And um, you can also imagine, though, if I go for, if I want to photograph like moon or, or like deep sky, uh, so I, I really don't don't have this uh, this Milky Way, uh, but I have maybe one object, then I, I have lenses like 600 millimeters, and then your exposure time would be a half a second, according to this rule, which makes it impossible to photograph because in the night for half a second, you would not see anything. And that's why you need some this um, yeah, yeah this, uh, um, there are some tools which move your um, camera with, and compensates the earth rotation, but this is uh, yeah very complex and very high uh, also high weight. So you, if you imagine you go to the mountains with this high weight uh, equipment, you probably won't do it. And that's why uh, this is one of the reason you should also take the focal length about 15 to 20 millimeters. The second reason and the most important reason is that of Milky Way is amazingly big and if it is extremely difficult to get one as a Milky Way in one image. And that's why you try to get as, as much aperture uh, as possible. Um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, focal length. Uh, aperture is as, as small as you possible so um, because again it's dark and in time you're limited and it of course it um, depends on your scent uh, on your lens however you cannot go um, too low because lenses which are not optimized for astrophotography you will produce such butterflies from stars so you see it's from 1.f4 and if, by the way, this is amazing lens, 24 millimeter one, uh, f1.4 1 L. This is very nice, but it's just not meant to photograph stars. And you can use it only, you see with f2.8, uh, 2.0 2 is also okay, uh, but 1.4 you will just see the lines it's, it's way too big, it's uh, uh, not usable. I will uh, show you to you later. So actually, in, in with my lens, it, it starts from 1.8, but it's all only usable at 2.2 or 2.0, not below. Yeah, and, and then you have, okay, here you have that your time. It's like, I say 15 seconds, you're on the secure side, then F point, uh, 2.0 on the secure side. And then the only thing that remains is ISO. And for ISO, you probably would be somewhere around 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, which makes us for not, um, it makes us very difficult to photograph with a non um, full frame camera. Yeah, and um, for uh, yeah, the last point is maybe this focus. So focus, you usually focus manual on the brightest stars and then you fix a tape on your on your lens hood because in the darkness, you often move it. If you photograph, you, know, you don't recognize. Here's a question. Uh, here, here's a question. What do you think, as a, what do you think is it? You have no idea. Satellite. Satellite. Yeah, it's 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 a satellite, but you see this very strange movement. I, 
Um, I suggest, I'm not sure 100% to be honest, but I think it's um, image stabilization uh, artifact because I forgot to turn it off. And obviously I move here, my, my image stabilizer thought that this is a, a shake. So this satellite produced very, very uncommon movement. Um, yeah, and uh, actually, so I, I actually I had all this knowledge as I start as as I went to my to take my first image, and I show it again. It was at this place. So um, this this was my tent, and and here you see the river, and um, um, it was at that time my girlfriend who lighted it up, and here. I woke up, it was something like uh, nine o'clock or 10. And I saw, okay, here Milky Way starts. And I thought, okay, perfect, everything is fine. Clear sky, oh, I just need to wait two hours and the Milky Way will move here around and will be here. And then I, I have my picture. And then, yeah, it was uh, exactly the right time. Mm -hmm. Uh, clear sky, you see you sit here a little bit, and then it was fog in, in mountains. And everything is gray. And then uh, as I woke up the third time, the, um, it's, it's not a Photoshop here. It's uh, um, what, what do you think? What is it? It's moon light or? It's, it's moon. It's unbelievable, but it's it's moonlight because it was a full moon. At that, as a, as first picture, it, it was uh, still behind the mountain, but at that picture, it was uh, like a full, uh, and in the sky you could not see anything. And um, you see here, yeah, this this was this was my first image, and to be honest, at at that moment I thought, wow. It's a nice one, but come on, as a, here in the post-processing, I really tried to emphasize uh, emphasize the Milky Way until it was too much. And yeah, don't really like it, but what I can show you is uh, here, it's in a, a little bit bigger. Then, yeah, the, the idea was like something like you know, that. Um, this is um, an image from Alec Gletscher, and uh, that happens if you um, make like 20, uh, yeah, not 20, you make like 100 pictures. Uh, you, so you, 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 I have a Sony camera, and then Sony camera can just say, okay, start to make pictures, uh, 20, uh, one picture 20 seconds, and then the next one, and the next one, and do it for the next hour, and then you will receive something like 20, uh, uh, 20 uh, something like 100 images. And I, th and I think 100 will produce such long uh, traces. So sometimes you can see even longer than you, you know it probably for hour or for two or for three. And here you see this is all the moon. And here there is a north, obviously. Uh, and this is one of the last images. So I, I, I hope <laughs> one can see difference because at, at the beginning, if you in the night and you, you just, you don't see anything, you see only stars, you don't, this all is, was just dark, so don't forget about it. And um, with the time you learn to plan and to photograph, for instance, this was the first image I, I put my tripod took this image as it was not so dark. And then I went sleep, woke up after two hours. It was dark, this, this was here, and then take a second, took a second image. Oh. And also, this is not one image. This is a panorama of, this, I think, five, so like one, two, three, four, five. Because yeah, it's way too much. Okay. And, 
Mm, this is one with um, this one actually done in Belgium. There's one, one beautiful river in the south, close to France. And here's an example for me with a uh, light pollution, because there is there is a village here, a very small one. But you can see the Milky Way. It was I, I, I was just lucky to be honest. So it was just landing here. And, and the last one, this, this is my last one from Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, I, I can I think I can because I cannot zoom here oh. more, but <laughs> I, what I can do, I can show it you here. Yeah. Come on. Here. Yeah. So what I can show you is it's how it looks like if it if it's hundred percent. So maybe if I go here to the corner, you will see here. You see this is this butterflies which I talked about, and you can also see it was like I think it was fifteen seconds, but I still have lines and not really dots, but from Absolutely. the other side. It's yeah. a wonderful photo. It's a Thank you. As I said, you don't really see. You know, I think it was seven. It was like seven uh, shots in a row. And uh, here it is comes a lot to the post processing because I don't know if I can show you the, the origin one. Oh, it was too much. Is that one? Yeah, so you see, this is, I hope you can see it. This is Milky Way. And this is like Milky Way after after the contrast mm -hmm. was increased. And by the way, it was the darkest night ever because there was no moon at all. And this was also for me the first time I, I did the image with, without any uh, light from the moon. And it is, it is really, really dark. So this is something like ISO six thousand something. This is my end. And you see, you see noise, 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 noise. And yeah, this was also lesson to learn for me. Uh, yeah, do do this stuff in advance because then it's too 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 late. Maybe I can show you uh, that one. This is also the, the origin one. Okay, let's see. Got yeah, here. Also here. Also a panoramic shot, but I think I can show. Oops. I think I can show it to here. Yeah, again, here is this in the corner. You see the tra trails. Uh, here you see satellites. It's almost impossible to make a picture without satellite. So here, obviously, you can see here quite a lot. And, and the brightest, well, I, I already photoshopped them all the way. But um, to avoid having this um, butterflies that you say, it's really quite difficult, no, I guess, because they, you can't really stop the Earth from moving. So. <laughs> and you will always need. Uh, Quite some seconds. Yeah, um, this, this is always the same. You, it is dark, so you need time. So you have as high time as possible, like fifteen seconds. If if I go high, I will go. I will take uh, produce just, uh, lines. Mm -hmm. Then I the aperture is f two point zero. I cannot go low. Then I will produce the butterflies, or it will be not sharp enough. And then ISO the only thing where I can play a little bit around. Yeah. yeah. So the butterfly is a lens effect. It's, it comes from the lens. butterfly is a lens effect. Yeah. I can, yeah. Yeah. Maybe but, I but, yeah. But when you when you do this as panorama, how do you deal with the overlapping areas? So you you take three shots. So the the, the third shot is then already. At least forty-five seconds away from the first shot. Mm -hmm. or, I, I see it here. So, yeah, and or... 
if Caesar, um, or maybe here, maybe here, look. It's always like, um, it's overlapping. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, of course, if you look here, very, um, how should I say? I wonder what the matching process is doing because from the from the from the first to the second picture in the overlapping area, mm -hmm. th then then you should also have some of course you, you, effect. You, 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 but you also see it here. You see it here. This is a duplicated star, mm -hmm. uh, or some sometimes it's here, but. The point is okay. the resolution yeah. is so high that you just don't, don't yeah, yeah, notice you don't it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you, you see it here. And someti sometimes I, I use Photoshop and sometimes it, it, it creates an image where the Milky Way just have a curve. Okay. But obviously yeah. it, it, it has not have, it, it just go up. Mm -hmm. And here you see it a little bit goes there and then there. And this is uh, the matching process, which is not ideal. Okay, yeah, but yeah. You, you don't in the end you don't know if it's from the magic. You don't you don't you don't recognize it because you're not astronomer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. I don't know what I can... mm -hmm. Oh here it was like yeah. No, it's 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 interesting. You can it's always interesting. Uh, this one uh, oh, uh, for for instance I took uh, because I wanted to produce star trails, so I just went for 20 seconds, and you see there are no lights, there are lines here, there are very, very strong lines at the corner. And I think here, yeah. And, and, and it's interesting if you just play them, you, you see how the stars are moving. You know? Yeah, and the fog in the valley. In the fog. What can the value? Uh, but it looks for me, it looks like a cold night. Quite cold. Yeah, night. It was it was yeah. cold one, yeah. I was even afraid of my camera if it's uh, will survive. Yeah, but but it did. But uh, the output from, from here it was not so not so amazing. That's why I don't, don't really use it. Yeah, and actually that's it's that's it. That's what I wanted to show. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you very much for this very interesting. Uh, interesting. Okay, stop. Um, yeah. To share, this is a question I hear.